Hello, YouTube family. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Imani and you are watching Faith by Design. Today we will be doing a budget with me for my third paycheck in July. So if this sounds like something you are interested in, stick around and we will be right back. <music> Today we will be doing a budget with me for my third paycheck. Before we get started, I wanted to give a shout out to BCL Week 11 budgeting community link started by Budgeting April. We have Fire Wife Savings Life, Making Money Moves, 40 Plus Life, my girl Veronica, and the Happy Male Fairy. So please go out and support these ladies. Go check out their channels. I know Veronica from 40 Plus Life does have an Etsy shop. I recently bought some stuff from her. So if you can go check them out, I do. I will leave a link to anyone else that has an Etsy shop as always down below, as well as Budgeting April. She has an Etsy shop and she's the starter of the BCL community link or the founder. And so please go out and support her as well. She's also starting a round too soon so be on the lookout for that and yeah go check all of them out i'm sure they're great channels and let's get into this video so like i said this is my third paycheck in july which is a magic month quote unquote because there are no benefits that are usually taken out minus retirement and so the paycheck is a usually and this is for my full-time job let me turn down my jazz so usually it's a little bit more um that we receive but as far as budgeting goes i still budget bi-weekly so i don't really see it as an extra paycheck it just goes to the next month's bills basically that i'm responsible for so let's see for the first so we have three thousand five hundred seventy seven dollars I did round um, that so it could just be an even number. So you'll see later that it kind of made my zero based budget, even though I don't really do a zero based budget. But in terms of a less leftover amount, it kind of messed it up a little bit, but it's okay. I'll explain that later. So full time, part time. I do have a part time um, job as well as my full time that I work. So I do include my part-time in my budget just to make it easier. So we have, for those bills, this coming pay period, mortgage is getting $1,136. Oh, and also I wanted to mention that my giving and tithes do not come out. They come out before. So you won't see that in my budget now. I kind of took those out so that way I can budget before I get my check and that way that set up you know more seamlessly and I don't forget to do those so what we're working with is three thousand five hundred seventy seven dollars mortgage is one thousand one hundred thirty six dollars fidelity is the loan that I took out from my retirement so I'm currently paying that back and it comes out once a month so that's 172 HOA, okay, we did receive an HOA bill and it's usually once a year that we receive this. I don't know why it was a surprise to me, but it's 160 for the whole year. And so I had to make room for that. It probably will be a sinking fund in the future. Um, Gas South is 4212. Right Authority is a company that I get my collagen from. <laughs> And that usually occurs, it's a fixed um, expense that I usually will have it auto shipped to my house every six weeks or so. I can make changes on how often I want it. But I do enjoy the collagen. Collagen is good for you. Hulu is $6.99. Taxes, I'm setting aside $50 for taxes. Lawn care is $60. So when we add up these fixed expenses, we have $1,682.35. Rent is 
with a remaining of $1,894.65. The thing that is not included in this budget, which usually is, I think this time around, is my student loan payment. It's currently in forbearance for a month, but a grace forbearance, because I'm currently doing a PSFL waiver, which is part of the student loan forgiveness um, program or the debt, yeah, student loan forgiveness program where they count up all of your payments to see if you qualify. If you've made 120 qualifying payments, I believe, don't quote me on it, somewhere around there. So anyway, I discovered that I actually could qualify for that. And I know the deadline for the waiver ends in October, the last day of October, I believe. I may do a separate video on that because I really never talked about my student loans. So we'll see. But anyway, I don't have to make a payment now for those until we get that uh, notice. Let me zoom in. So groceries is getting 450, eating out is getting 180, fuel is getting 180, family fund is getting 150, Hair appointment is getting 80. Miscellaneous is getting 40. So when we add my total variable expenses up, it's $1,080 with a remaining balance of $814.65. I hope everyone is having a great week. I did forget to do that in the beginning. How are you guys? I've missed you. I feel like I have not been filming in a while or have been really watching a lot of YouTube videos because I have not been at work and because I've also had family in town. So I've been enjoying their company and I'm excited to say that I also have a few days off next week too. So I will be hopefully catching up on YouTube videos. My family left today, today is Sunday, so they left today and I can't wait to see them again soon, but yeah. I really enjoyed my time with them. The girls did as well. Just seeing my mom was here, my sister and my brother. They all came from different parts of where they lived to come here and spend time with me. So I'm really, really happy and thankful for them. So I hope everyone is doing well. Let's get back into this video. Okay, so my sinking funds, clothing is getting $75 back to school. My kids start back to school next Monday. Yeah, the summer flew by. So my back to school is getting $50. I don't have too many items to get from my youngest daughter. She did come home with a lot of school supplies at the end of the school year. So the only thing we have to get really is a lunch box for her. Senior year is getting $40. My senior We'll be taking senior photos this coming week, and so we're excited about that. So this will probably get depleted, but we'll just start over again and save for those senior expenses that will be coming up this fall, as well as in the spring, graduation, prom, and all that. Savings, my emergency fund is getting $25, and I do the 26-week savings challenge for that. Christmas is getting 25, and this is actually my first year doing a sinking fund for Christmas. So we'll see how that goes. Savings challenges, this is new in my budgeting category. It's getting $100, and I will be doing a few savings challenges here um, real soon. I purchased a lot from Etsy, and I haven't really had a chance to do them, so I'm looking forward to doing them. My total, for the sinking funds is $315 and remaining is $499.65. Okay, here it gets a little tricky. So we budgeted $500 for an extra debt payment for my Navy Federal credit card. That is my high priority debt, um, debt number two that I am focusing on since I paid off the Capital One credit card. So that was made $500. And because we had a $499.65 remaining balance, we have negative 35 cent. This is actually not correct because I did round here or I did drop off my cents. So if I hadn't dropped off my cents to that um, income amount, then I would be 
positive. I would have a positive amount left over. So just ignore the negative, it's not really necessary. So total income is $3,577 minus the expenses, which included both my total fixed and total variable. That was $2,762.35. Minus the sinking funds of $315 and minus the extra debt payment of $500, leaving us with a negative, but not really, um, of $0.35. Cent. And that is my budget for this paycheck. Please stay tuned because I will be doing a sinking, fund, sinking funds video as well as a savings challenge video, as well as a debt update for the end of July. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to check out BCL for week 11. I believe this is the last week and they will be starting round two shortly. So unless, you know, we get a surprise and we have another week, I don't know. So go check out Budgeting April as well. And I wanna say thank you all so much for your support, for all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you stick around and continue on this journey with me. Thank you all to my returning subscribers. You all are awesome. And I just thank the community as a whole for their support and love. And I will see you in my next video. Have a blessed week. Thank you. Bye-bye.